I am proud to announce that plant-based meals are now the default option for patients at three New York City health system hospitals. When it comes to preventing diet-related chronic disease, there is a growing recognition that it's not our DNA, it's our dinner. Isn't it crazy how these losers who control the planet have been able to convince the majority of the populace the opposite of the truth through decades and decades of brainwashing, especially in America when it comes to our health? Drink the tap water, you don't need to filter it. Better stay out of the sun and slather on that sunblock. Don't eat any meat or you'll get a heart attack. Make sure to eat your fruits and veggies so you'll grow big and strong. In reality, these freakazoid weirdos want you to be a five foot tall soy boy so they can play with you in their sauna initiation rituals. Culturally diverse plant-based meals are now the primary dinner option for inpatients at H&H, &H, Lincoln, Metropolitan, and Woodhall Hospitals. The dinner program expands on the healthcare system's successful plant-based lunch default program, launched in March of this year, which now boasts a 95% satisfaction rate. I wonder how they got that 95% satisfaction rate. Were they like feeding someone whose brain was begging for the morsel of butter that was accidentally splashed onto the broccoli. Yeah, you like our plant-based meals? Real culturally diverse, huh? <laughs> As the shriveled skeleton is attempting to lick their stalk of broccoli with what strength is left in their hospital bed. As a primary care physician, I speak with all my patients about the importance of a healthy diet and how it can help fend off or treat chronic conditions like type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease. Said New York City Health and Hospital's President and CEO, Michael Katz, MD. Our new meal program is rooted in evidence for health benefits and environmental sustainability and expands on the success of our Meatless Mondays program. It's so comical. The same cocksuckers that sold out your health for dozens and dozens of years since the 50s and 60s, the same cocksuckers who caused the obesity epidemic, the insane disease rates, especially heart attacks and diabetes, now, those same cocksuckers are coming to you with healthy plant-based meals, aka the standard American diet revamped with the removal of animal products. New York City Health Plus Health plant-based dish, southern black IP casserole with plant-based cornbread topped with plant-based shredded cheese. It's pretty obvious what they want to do with these meals. Remove those animal products, the nutritious meat, cholesterol, B vitamins, amino acids, make what's left of their brain rot away. At the same time, make sure it's really colorful so the flavonoids and anti-nutrients destroy your liver at the same time. Oh, that wasn't enough? We made sure to use high fluoride water when making our rice so your teeth are nice and calcified. Hope you sleep well in your five grams powered hospital bed. It's literally like the perfect meal to get someone sick and keep them sick so they don't have the nutrients their body needs to recover. But how much better is this new plant-based option compared to what they were getting? It was really just a bunch of processed agrochemical junk food crap laden with pollutants. Food is medicine, especially in our moments of sickness. Nutritious, healthy food should be available wherever New Yorkers are, but especially in institutions that are meant to restore health. Now, from our perspective, you wonder why all of these greedy psychopaths haven't been pummeled into the ground with class action lawsuits. That these diets and health advice the mainstream has promoted for years and years are actually detrimental to your health, the opposite of what they're telling you. If only they didn't have the lawyers and judges in their pockets, because it's really blatant. They're telling you this stuff's healthy when it's not, and there is scientific literature, studies you can find very easily proving the mechanisms in the body of the damage it's doing, yet 
no one's been paid out. Poor diets caused by limited access to healthy foods has led many bronchites to suffer from severe health issues such as obesity, high blood pressure, and cardiovascular disease. Bronchites? Bronchites? Sounds like they're calling people in the Bronx parasites. Oh my God. Uh, this is where they give you some truth. Yeah, the food that we've been giving you is poisoning you, but then they steer people in the wrong direction by saying the plant-based nonsense is the solution instead of a real solution like a balanced organic diet. And after that, they start mentioning the environment, padding these lies, the idea that meat is bad for the environment is going to become as much of a fake fact as meat causing heart attacks and saturated fat being bad for you. I can't really talk about the climate and the environment stuff anymore because it's, it's too big of an agenda that they use to control the masses. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I guess the idea with everything happening first in New York City is that, hey, if it can happen there, it can happen where you are. So if you guys do want to support me, please uh, check out frank com for all of my uh, creative business ideas that you will not find anywhere else. Uh, you can also drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you for the next video.